Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. I had a request today to paste the values from a pivot table and the formatting and came up with the results of that and I want to show you how you can do that in Excel. Uh, I do want to give credit to Deborah Douglas who actually uh, posted uh, several years back the steps on how to do this and she actually gives credit to John Walkenbach for finding this solution. I'm going to post a link to her blog as to where this came from in case you want to watch her video on this. But I'm going to show you three different ways that you can paste a pivot table and get three different results. So let's take a look and see how we can do this in Excel. So here I have a table and from this I've created a pivot table on the pivot table tab. And you can see I click in it and my pivot to table field list comes up. And I want to copy the data to another sheet. So I'm going to create another sheet here and I'm going to call it paste, oops, paste examples. Now I'll go back to my pivot table. And I'm going to highlight the pivot table here. I'm just going to do a control C to copy it. Now if I go over to the paste example tab and I do a control V to paste it, you know, just widen the columns, you can see I get a pivot table. Uh, I click off it, the field uh, list goes away. I can click on it, my pivot table field list appears. I can drill down the values. Uh, it is an exact duplicate of that pivot table that I had on my pivot table tab. So that's one option you have to copy and paste a pivot table. Now, if instead I want to copy it, go over to my paste uh, examples here, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select values, paste values. Now you can see that it pasted just the values, none of the formatting, none of the looks of a, piv of a pivot table. I double click on any value, it's just the value, there's no link to the underlying data in that. So that's a second option you have to paste the data of a pivot table. The third one might be the most interesting. Again, I'm going to copy the values here, go over to my Paste Examples tab, select the cell I want it to go in, and instead I'm going to click the Clipboard Dialog Box Launcher. And instead of right-clicking and pasting, or any other ways of pasting, I'm going to click on the copied values in the clipboard. And what happens is Excel pastes not only the data of the pivot table as values only, but it also took all the formatting that I had along with it. So I keep the same type of style. Uh, the same banded rows, the, the design that I selected for my pivot table, but none of the overhead that would come with it with uh, pasting the whole pivot table in case you don't want to provide that data or you don't want your users to see the underlying data to support the pivot table values that you've created. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.